YouTube, what's up? I have not seen you guys in a minute, or I guess you guys haven't seen me in a minute. <laughs> but if you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith. I am a second year medical student at the Mayo Clinic. And if you're returning, you probably have noticed that this is not my usual setup or my usual home because I have moved and I've been doing that entire process, which you guys will see a video on that and you'll get the house tour, studio tour, desk setup, those videos at some point. Um, I still have some stuff to do, but that is why I have not been able to put out as many videos as I would like. I've been busy, y'all. But this week is uh, no less busy, but I thought it would be more enjoyable for you guys to bring you guys along for the ride and actually vlog this week. Um, so you guys saw this morning I had class. I am currently in my pulmonology block. It's a four week block where we basically learn all about lung physiology and pathophysiology. Um, so in a stage of COVID, it seems pretty pertinent. Um, <laughs> but I have class from about 8 to noon. We have small groups this week, uh, and then I have a lot of what we call advanced doctoring kind of sessions um, where I actually go and I do things, whether that be in the clinic or whether that be in a simulation center, um, and just kind of do non-academic uh, work, which I think is more fun. And as you guys saw, I went to lecture virtually. We have the option to either watch lecture virtually or go in person, and I usually choose that virtual box. But I'll be on campus a lot this week, so I thought it would be a great week to bring you guys along. Today, I have a bronchoscopy lab, so we're gonna get ready for that, and we're gonna head up to campus. What's up guys? It's Tuesday, um, about 3.30 in the afternoon. So this morning was similar to yesterday morning where I had class and small group from eight to noon that I did virtually. And then this afternoon, I was able to see a patient in our uh, clinic that we have for under and uninsured patients. And if you followed my vlogs before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this is a experience where I get to go and I see a patient. Um, you know, I take their history, I perform a, a, a physical specific to why they're coming in. Um, and then I go and present this to a physician and then we go back in together, see the patient, talk about their management and how we're going to make them better. Um, and whenever I do these kind of, kinds of experiences, it's always awesome in the moment. You know, I love being able to see patients. I love being able to actually interact with patients. Um, but sometimes it can be tough to get myself motivated um, to get there. It's one of those things where once you're there, it's good. But getting there can be a little tough. Um, but it's always fun because I get to see my classmates and I'm not the only person there. You know, my colleagues, my classmates are there doing the same thing for their own patients. Um, and it's just kind of a fun experience to be able to grow in our medical knowledge and medical experience together. But now I'm going to get out of this suit, grab a bite to eat, finish my Anki, uh, which I'm sad to say I didn't finish this morning. And I still have like 150 cards. <laughs> but then I'm going to try to run up to the gym, get a workout in with some of my classmates. Hopefully that'll give me some energy to get through this day, stuff, stuff to do, hopefully this week, because it's busy. But y'all coming along for it and y'all keep me motivated. So I'll see y'all there. Still not done with Anki. <laughs> it's uh, one of those days. 
Um, but <laughs> I'm gonna be done for right now. Head up to the gym, meet some of my classmates. That workout is just gonna save me. It's gonna wake me up. It's gonna give me some energy to get through today and hopefully this rest of this week. Excited, gonna meet up some of my classmates and I haven't got a good workout in in a really long time. So I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, but it's gonna be okay. All right, let's go. What's up guys? It is Wednesday, 5.30, um, hub day, halfway there. I just got back from my um, outpatient responsibilities. So um, morning was the same as Monday and Tuesday. Um, class from eight to noon, still in Palm, um, learning about things like idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and sarcoidosis and a lot of other things that I'm gonna get to study in. Um, <laughs> and then I went up to uh, the clinic and outpatient is that classic kind of primary care setting uh, where you can see things, you know, from back pain to somebody comes in with, you know, a certain infection or things like that. Um, and it was nice for two reasons. One, because I got to see back pain, which um, I always get excited when I see anything MSK related. Um, and then two, it offered me the opportunity to talk with somebody who was vaccine hesitant um, and just be able to practice having that conversation in a real kind of hospital setting, not over Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or something like that, but a real patient coming with that concern um, and just being able to practice navigating that. So that was awesome. And then I was able to, um, similar to Reach or any of my other experiences where I'll see the patient and then I'll go back, discuss the patient with, with the attending, come back in together, um, and then the attending does most of the talking at this point. And then being able to also see how the attending navigated that um, those waters um, was very educational for me. So um, that was nice. I'm a little exhausted, but I just ate, got a little energy in me. Definitely hitting round two of co of coffee. So I know it's 5:30, which is pushing a little late, but it'd be like that. So now we're gonna crank out the rest of the studying that we have. I have a few um, lectures that I want to just skim through. A few videos that I want to. Uh, watch and do some Anki as always and I will hopefully be awake by the end of it <laughs> But I'll see y'all in a little bit We made it to Thursday, guys. <laughs> um, it's about 1 p.m. I had normal class from 8 to noon, um, but today is nice because I don't have any clinical responsibilities. I don't have to go downtown. I don't have to go to the hospital at all today. It's my one afternoon off, which is amazing. The weather's great, so I'm gonna spend some time. I'm gonna go out for a little run with Blaze, get him out and about. Most of you guys know I tore my Achilles earlier this year in February, so I'm just now being able to get back to running and doing some of those kind of things, so I'm excited to do that. And I'm gonna cut my hair, get a little cleaned up um, because we actually have a photo shoot where we are taking professional photos with our stethoscopes up on campus if we want to and I want to. So um, I'm gonna get a little quick haircut, get myself cleaned up for that. We're in good spirits today. After this run, we're gonna be in even better spirits. So let's get to this run. Let's get Blaze going because he seems a little lazy and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Friday, guys. We made it. <laughs> um, I'm about to get ready and head up to campus um, because the orthopedic and plastics interest groups came together to organize an event where we're going over a few case studies um, regarding um, arm and hand anatomy. And so that's going to be nice. And then I have pediatrics. Um, so I'll be doing and seeing pediatric patients um, from about one to five this afternoon. Um, and then I'll be able to get a little bit of rest. Um, Fridays are always nice because I get to kind of take everything that I learn in the week and um, make sure that I'm really caught up. During the week, it's just kind of keeping your head above water, but then the weekend is where you can kind of make sure things are tight. And the main thing that I use for that um, is like Shurio, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Um, more on them later, but I essentially use them to kind of just go over brief overviews of the things that I'm learning in class to really fine tune and tighten up everything. And I'll show you guys how I do that later. But for now, I'm gonna get ready and head up to campus. Oh, we made it guys. It is Friday, um, about 5.30 probably now p.m. I finished my day uh, morning, same as the rest of the week. Had class from 8 to noon. Afternoon was able to go and have a talk with our ortho and plastics interest group about hand and arm anatomy. The first years are currently going over that in anatomy. Um, and so we got to kind of talk about some pathologies that go on in the upper extremity and walk through a case together, which was awesome. And then I had my PEDS advanced doctoring experience where I saw a few pediatric patients. All of that was awesome. It was great. Um, I'm exhausted, but it's Friday. Um, but one thing that I'm definitely going to do now that it's Friday, this is what I talked about earlier. I'm going to use like Shurio and just watch a few videos on the topics that we covered in class today. Um, and it's awesome because like Shurio lets me just watch a few videos on a topic and then I get to take a few practice questions on that topic and it gives me the confidence that I actually know what that topic is that I was learning in class. So we're gonna do like Shurio really quick and after that, then Madison and I are going to dinner and we're gonna hang out and enjoy some nice family time. All right, y'all. All right, guys, we're done reviewing using Lecturio. Probably took 15 minutes, three or so five minute videos, um, essentially covering all the high yield topics from everything I learned all week in class. You're not gonna get as much detail as you would in class, but that's not what these videos are for. These videos are to hit on high yield, important concepts that you're learning in class, and I absolutely love it. I don't think there's a better way to just make sure I'm retaining all the material, the important material that I need to from class then using something like Lecturio and then being able to test my knowledge using those practice questions afterwards. Incredible resource, I can't recommend it enough. If you're interested in checking out Lecturio, make sure you check out the link in the description below and you can get 40% off your membership when you sign up. So now that that's done, I feel like my weekend is officially starting and in no better way to do that than to go out to dinner with Madison. We're gonna head out and just enjoy some time with just us. Um, she's been at work, I've been at school, it's been a busy week for both of us and no better time than to just finish that week off coming in together and enjoying time with each other. So I'm gonna log off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And of course, as always, keep evolving and I'll see you guys in the next one.